Hello all, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing about sock puppets for OSINT. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all really really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect with me personally you can check out my Twitter and if you want to be part of this channel's community you can check out my Discord server. All the links are in the description below. So guys, uh, coming to what sock puppets are. So sock puppets are to be put it simple, it's like some kind of a fake account and also all the links that I'm going to mention in this video or all the tools that I'm going to mention in this video will be in the description below. You can do check that out. So sock puppets, so uh, like it's like a fake account you can call okay so the main reason why we use these sock puppets is to perform the osint operations <laughs> like for example uh, let us assume that you want to do osint on myself so what you basically do is like the whenever you search my name the first result is going to be for example linkedin so whenever you view linkedin so you can see that i can always see that this particular person had viewed my profile so like uh, I'm just tagging you with yourself okay so when you use some kind of a sock puppet kind of thing with some different name which I'm not even familiar of or some stuff like that so it is always hard for anyone to uh, find it out okay and it also gives you some sort of privacy and some stuff like that. So here uh, you can see the main purpose so I leave links in the description below so the this is one of the good resource in order to getting started with the sock puppets and I'll also give you some other stuff as well. So you can see like uh, sock puppets are nothing but a fake social media accounts for the OSINT purpose. Okay, so like uh, without even tagging your main uh, stuff with that uh, that OSINT research, like you can use some other stuff like that. So you generally create some sort of a fake account. Okay, so the purpose of the sock, uh, sock puppets is like for the investigators to like to collect some sort of research. Okay, uh, to do some sort of research and some stuff like that so how to create a perfect uh, sock puppet is like uh, there are some rules okay so always you don't use your uh, original wi-fi okay so uh, use a different uh, network so like um, assume that you are having a home network uh, in your home like wi-fi or some stuff like that so don't use that to create that cause like many services like many social media services like take it facebook instagram twitter they uh, log your ip so it may be like uh, uh, it may be not uh, that much private so sometimes there are some tricks like uh, use some stuff like uh, uh, most of the time I've seen people they use uh, public Wi-Fi okay so public Wi-Fi or sometimes they use VPN so or sometimes they use Tor okay so like uh, in order to create or use that account okay once you create that account you need to use that account right so then you can use some sort of a public Wi-Fi if it is near to you or uh, I've seen some uh, reports where uh, people st uh, people use the Starbucks Wi-Fi and or some stuff like that like some public Wi-Fi like uh, airport and some stuff like that and also sometimes a vpn so you can use any sort of vpn that you like and tor so tor is some sort of uh, like uh, it may not work all the time like some social media services started detecting tor and they don't load up so you can use any of them so uh, uh, like different from your original network so that it will remain more private and more secure and the next thing is like never link your uh, original account okay so never uh, link uh, your original account okay uh, with the sock puppet so like any sort of like or any stuff like that you shouldn't never uh, uh, link that your original account okay as well as oh, the original account with that sock puppet account or that fake account that you created so that is and uh, that's a good thing and now coming to the tools okay so how to create a sock so these are some basic stuff okay so the only goal is like don't link okay any stuff of like uh, anything that you generally use with that sock puppet account so use some kind of vpn or some different network if you're having a different phone okay like uh, uh, like if you're having separate phone or separate laptop or some separate uh, something like that try to use it uh, try to keep that bit separate okay so now comes to some important stuff so first of all uh, whenever you want to create any mail or some stuff like that so they basically ask you for an email address okay so like right now every social media platform or everything has some kind of like email or some kind of phone number kind of stuff so you can use temp mail but i'm not sure like uh, you cannot recover your sock puppet account cause like uh, if you can get a premium account i guess like 
if you get a premium account you can uh, like uh, keep this particular email address uh, for with you okay so that's the thing and uh, this may work and this may not work sometimes okay uh, then it's a better way to create like there are some good uh, mail services like proton mail so proton mail i can say always secure cause like they leak the bug uh, the logs but there are a lot of other uh, uh, like uh, uh, privacy oriented emails like uh, mail fence zoho mail r mail these are a lot of mails i leave the, all the links so you can use any of this mail service and uh, you can uh, add that to your sock puppet account okay and one more thing sometimes they may ask you for some kind of like a phone number so you can see like a mobile number some 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 uh, some sort of stuff like that so you can always opt for some stuff like an online number okay uh, like an online number or if you are like really uh, much uh, privacy oriented you can buy a sim card okay uh, but anything is fine so you can buy a sim card which is which acts like a burner cell so some stuff uh, some stuff like that like you can link all your stuff okay like uh, uh, whether if you are logging into a twitter so you can use that particular phone number like instead of using your original phone number okay and also uh, there are so many e sim options okay so you can try it out what works for you you can just use that out there are free stuff as well but uh, i'm not sure how good they are so you can if you really are into this uh, sock puppet stuff like you can buy a number like which are like pretty cheap like i've seen people buying num phone numbers for like 10 dollars and some stuff like that so it is really cheap and it will do your work and now comes an important thing so the name generator so you can't always suppose if i'm if i want to create a sock puppet i can't always use a stuff like satvik right so i can't use a name which is like much more uh, like uh, stuff like that so there are here comes there are some tools like fake name generator.com so this to, uh, this one will always gen this generates like a fake email like you can give the gender so for example male uh, you can set the country to any country for example japanese so the country i'm going to give some kind of like uh, anything so anything is fine so okay uh, let us assume that the name set is for like japanese and he he lives in a uh, united states just, just hit on generate and you can see the name uh, okay so i think the name is in the japanese i guess no who you want it in english only like sometimes i've seen people uh, who use the japanese and some other stuff so they can freak the others out so that's the reason so you can see for example i generated some stuff here uh, who lives in country united states so derek g flynn so this is not like a common name so you may always not give the common names okay like john or stuff like that and you can see the mother's name ssn name geo coordinates as well uh, i'm not sure uh, like uh, they are even the coordinates as well so even uh, these tools also they give you an email address if you want so you can reactivate them but i think you need to uh, like sign in to this uh, fake name generator thing kind of thing so you can use that so you can see it gives you a lot of stuff okay so some people uh what they do basically is like uh, uh in their proxies okay so there are some uh, uh extensions there which uses the proxy so they use these browser agents as well so you can do that so there is a visa I, these these won't work guys so no need to worry okay because they expired in 2023 and 246 so these will not work and it gives you a ton of information here okay so you can copy them okay you can uh, sign in and you can save these uh, like accounts okay so save these persons so that you can revisit them if you are have if you are having any kind of query and there is one more tool uh, called as uh, elf green slab uh, elf green slab okay so even this also generates a fake uh, kind of thing so uh, even this does the th uh, same thing but it gives you much more uh, stuff as well like it gives you the password uh, and also the username that you should be using so it gives you much more options and it gives you some ids and stuff passport and stuff all these are fake only so no need to worry okay so uh, you can even get a personal lucky number or uh, not sorry not that number so not lucky number but like a phone number as well so these services link to some other stuff as well so all these stuff are like just fake stuff okay so uh, they are just used for like uh, creating the sock puppet you may not use them in the real life okay and there comes one more tool called as this person does not exist so uh, you can see that it generates uh, uh, some images okay so which they doesn't exist in the real life okay they doesn't exist in the real life so all these are ai generated images maybe most of the time you may be seeing a woman so he may be a man okay so it may be some kind of ai generated images so you can use any one of them uh, depending upon your stuff and uh, that is how you do it 
okay so uh, those are some basic uh, stuff guys like you can see i almost covered all these stuff so the face if you want to like sometimes if you don't want uh, you don't want to like uh, like uh, you may not add up your uh, profile picture but it's always your choice okay and uh, there are some tips like as i told you like don't link uh, your original account with that this particular sock account and uh, like if if it is uh like it is always a best practice to like uh, maintain all these sock accounts on a different device uh, uh rather than your normal device and also be careful about the networking part because like everything that you do gets locked okay so if you like uh they may uh, catch you like uh like the services like google facebook they got smart enough and they detect you uh that they, they detect the accounts based on the uh like the the ip address and stuff as well so make sure you are uh, doing that and if you follow these steps like uh, you can uh, create a successful sock account and you can perform your os in part much more easily and without any hassle so guys uh, if you end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this os in stuff os in related stuff uh, this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you